personally, I don't believe in electing judges. I think the states should, should appoint their state judges. Cities should appoint their judges because there's an aspect of undue influence and then do I really want the burden of accountability foisted upon this uh, demographic, these particular unwashed masses. Uh, a, a judge who is appointed carries the burden of sovereignty. He is now uh, one with the land. The land and its people are, are now a reflection of his self. Border dispute. What I tell you about the border dispute? Oh, uh, you're not. That's not within the scope of your. Uh, it's a. It's a threat to my well-being. I, I have a lot of mouths to feed. I have to provide for these people. You're elected. It's like your authority came from uh, anybody old enough to vote who isn't a felon yet because your school sucks so bad. I'm sure there's an argument for keeping it the way it is. I don't exactly trust the online voting the ballot uh, machines. I don't know why they need to be networked to the World Wide Web. I don't know why every post office in the country, every every distribution center has, has to be always on to map delivery routes. Like, you can't just update that weekly, daily, even. The other, People on the other side of the planet really need real-time access to every package being shipped in the United States so the Philistines here can have the plausible deniability of us being less likely to go do something about that. So how is that not fascism? Well, all right, so you you elect the democracy and they appoint the judges. It It's not fascism because they're not forcing you like they're not saying the Bible is right or wrong. It, their religion, regardless, their role in the government and society is that of uh, devotee to the law. You, you might not see it that way. The way I see it, uh, the Drug Enforcement Administration is. the authority for domestic pharmaceutical patent enforcement trade free trade like, see when when you if you engage in beneficial chemicals market um, we, we have patents that we recognize and then if it's not recognized, it's at least patent infringement. You know, whether or not a, a young man with his whole life ahead of him deserves to serve the first ten of them in prison for being in the wrong place at the wrong time is obviously debatable, but uh, our trade rights do have to be enforced as a matter of our sovereignty. The DEA enjoys the largest intelligence budget in the country and they ostensibly work for the Department of Justice. Now the FBI is like, oh, that's our job. And then Homeland's like, nah, -uh, it's our job. Homeland is Canadians as far as I'm concerned. If, if we had sent the DEA to Afghanistan, it, it would have taken four to eight years and it it would be flying a, a Russian flag or an Iranian proxy. Probably now it's our baby. You know, your honors, that while we were bickering and scrapping and fighting for a place in line to go and 
bow to the Taliban in their new role as supreme leaders of Afghanistan, the, the Iranians were walking up from backstage and whispering in their ears, 77% of global opium production comes from Afghanistan and the Taliban reassures us that it's all totally illegal. Trump declared our surrender and left Biden to inherit it. And now the, the victory goes to Muslim Jesus here and the egg on the face of the American president. They win both ways. The Nazis how they stay in power is by promoting this behavior. There's a, there's a tipping point where the, the law and society are no longer sustainable and therefore victory comes from its own downfall. So when it uh, demonstrates mastery rather than custodianship, all these but in the meantime we've got Canada fighting a holy war with Haiti on our soil oh no it's more more African we gotta send more white Philistines it's an, an excuse for them they trade whites and blacks. The, uh, in 1804, the Marines abolished the sale and distribution of Europeans at the Second Battle of Tripoli. Well, without that, the Ottoman Empire isn't legally trading Africans anymore. They have to, they have to replace it with it's a slave raiding operation. There has to be something, you know, ostensibly rational about it in order to qualify the peasants as either slaves of the prophet or the infidel. They have to first admit that they're crazy. There's one Allah and Muhammad is a prophet. Not only am I not a player, I don't even believe the game is over as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Um, this this idea that whoever some say well I'm, I'm not going to list uh, various American cults and uh, corporations claiming to be charitable NGOs but uh, I mean anonymous a banker with a wallet full of nameless gravestones it's not a religion such a tragedy. Just the realization of how many people have suffered for so long for this. It's not a religion. It's a cult which adopted the corporation. The Mongolians are the driving force behind Islam's initial success and even they just you know, as long as I don't have to believe it only they have to believe it you are the Muslims all they have to do is prove it's not them and all the Muslims have to do is Allahu Akbar so they don't even have to know they're Muslims that's how Protestantism works Islam uh, works just as well with the Bible if you just bludgeon people with it. That's why they weren't allowed to read it for 600 years. Is it... unrealistic to think Islam has fulfilled its purpose in this world? Can we plan for the end of Islam. It's not going to end overnight, but I mean, these are the rules.
if you don't believe in miracles, maybe there's a, a scientific explanation out there, a, a field of study which, with which I'm simply not familiar. Humans are created to survive on a, a planet in search of food and water and shelter and a mate with five senses to serve their purpose. There's more to life than spinning on a wet rock through a void of space. We just don't have the senses for it. But we, we readily, we hear words that we know the meaning of, but in the context in which we learned it, we disagree. We don't necessarily have the operative context for the next guy to use that word, but it's still the same meaning. It's a limitation of human language. The 6th century AD, there is but one law and Muhammad is his prophet. Well, sometimes they say final prophet, but as long as Socrates doesn't come up. You know, September 11, 2001, I guess we can't afford the services of Sir Isaac Newton anymore. mfrodeo.blogspot.com My first radio. I can't wait.